Hey guys! <laughs> so for today's video, we will be talking about my February top five favorites. Woo! For February's top five, I actually have only two makeup products and three skincare products. I want to really start incorporating skincare because although makeup is really fun, skincare is what I mean, along with a healthy diet. Skincare is what helps you get great skin. So we need to talk about skincare, you know. And just a disclaimer, this skincare I'm mentioning does not mean it will work for you. I am a dry skin type, skin type. I range from being normal, usually around the summer, to extremely dry in the winter. Uh, so just keep that in mind just because it works for me does not mean that it will work for you for the first product that I will be mentioning today I'm gonna go in with makeup first my very first one and I've had this for a while it's been launched it's been out for a while now but I have been reaching for this like crazy is the Kosa's wet lip oil in the shade dip this has ultimately been my favorite favorite lip gloss I love, first of all, the packaging is very cute. Can't go wrong with the packaging. But the shade, the shade is what keeps me coming back to it, including the fact that this is a very nourishing, hydrating lip gloss. I love to wear it when I have no makeup on and maybe just want to throw on some mascara, a little bit of highlighter, and then I'll just throw on dip on my lip. Jaws is also really cute without makeup, but I really, really reach for this shade in particular. I love that really pretty wash of, uh, kind of, it's like a rosy pink gloss color. So I've really been loving this. And like I said, it really helps that it has really good ingredients for you so that you can lick your lips and you're not eating your disgusting chemical filled lip gloss. The next product I've been loving, uh, and this will be the last product in skincare, is the new Hourglass Concealer. This concealer has completely changed my life. I absolutely love it. I love the doe foot applicator. It is very, very soft and, you know, very luxurious packaging, but it's not about the packaging. It's about what's in the packaging. And this concealer has kicked it out of the park for me. I struggle with very dark circles and I love that it covers them up with like, you don't even need a whole swipe. You just need the little three dots and work it. And if you need a little bit more coverage, you go right ahead and cover more up. But I have heard some disclaimers. I've had people tell me that it was very drying. Um, I can see how that is possible, but like I've mentioned before, I do use it with a very hydrating eye cream. Again, it could be different for everyone, so you could be using a very hydrating eye cream and the still is very drying. For me, the Youth to the People as well as the Glossier Bubble Wrap have really helped uh, keep the under eye area very hydrating, hydrated when I use this. But I really love the coverage on this. It is full coverage. You can make it medium coverage if you don't want it to be as full coverage. So I like that it's buildable. I feel like all the claims that the Hourglass Concealer has claimed to be is for me. So this has been like a kick out of the park for me. I really, really have been loving this. Moving on to skincare. I discovered this brand at Credo Beauty, which is located on 3rd Street in Los Angeles. And I love this brand, but this is my favorite oil by them. And it is the Bybee Strawberry Booster Oil. Looks like so. Such a cute packaging. One thing that I love about this is not it's not only a clean beauty brand. It is 100% naturally certifi certified, vegan, and cruelty-free. It is 100% cold-pressed strawberry seed oil. So it is only one ingredient. And guess what, y'all? This is only $17. Let me repeat myself. It is only $17. But it only has one ingredient, and it is cold-pressed strawberry seed oil. I love this so freaking much. 
It helps to keep my skin very hydrated throughout the day. It looks great under makeup. It doesn't make my face feel very oily or greasy. Um, like I mentioned, I have two other oils by them, the blueberry and the CBD. Equally as great, but this one's the newest addition to mine and I love this a lot. The next product is by Coco Kind Facial Repair Oil. Looks like so. Love this so much. I love that it has a pump. I have really been loving this oil because I definitely rotate my oils because sometimes my skin is fine, other times it needs extra hydration. The Coco Kind Facial Repair Oil is that day or night where my skin is extremely dry and this completely saves my skin. I feel it, my skin feels supple, it feels hydrated, and it looks so, so good. Like, I just, I love wearing it alone. Not alone, but like, if I don't wear makeup, this is one of the oils that I like to put on because it keeps my skin looking very, just healthy, hydrating, and I always say hydrating, hydrated. And yeah, just, I love it. I love it a lot. This is also another clean beauty brand, but it is affordable. Which I just love that, y'all, because, you know, a lot of us are on a budget. I definitely am. So it's nice to know that a lot of brands are eco-conscious, they're sustainable. Coco Kind is also sustainable. And that they're affordable, you know, and I, I, I really, really like that. And that they have really good ingredients. Last but not least, for the month of February, when it comes to skincare, I know I just talked about affordability, and I am now going to go into a $60 serum, but this shit is amazing. And unfortunately, it's the only product that works for me from the new launch by Moon Juice. So what I'm talking about is the Moon Juice Plump Jelly. Love this thing so freaking much. It is a hydrating serum filled with such great hydrating ingredients that are so good for my skin. Oh my god, this. I wear this every day, morning and night. I try not to actually wear it every day because it's $60. But it smells so freaking good, very natural. Um, I don't know how to, again, I'm very bad at describing smells and colors. <laughs> but to me, it smells delicious. It makes my skin look so good when I wake up throughout the day at oh my god at night again it's 60 bucks so that's why I don't use it much because I mean it's not super small it is one fluid ounce but like you know ugh. but it's just been so good and it's very gentle on the skin unfortunately the other two moon juice products that I bought the high hydrating moisturizer and the acid potion did not go well for me. It kept giving me a really weird reaction and this is one of the only things that didn't. But I really, really love this and I like it also under the eye area. It's very safe for under the eye. That's how gentle this serum is. Whenever I've applied it to my eye, I like to just tap it and it gives it a really like plump, hydrated look under the eye. And then you can put it on your lips as well. So it's a very multi-purpose plump jelly. That's that. So that is my top five February favorites. I hope that y'all are enjoying this monthly series because I like doing them. I think that five products is good. Um, it's not that hard for me to choose. So thank you so much for watching. What have been your favorites for the month of February? If you want to comment down below to let me know. And were any of these your favorites? And are y'all going to try any of these? And I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy March. Bye.